All right, welcome everyone to Mindfulness Practice Live, hosted by Trader Bianca. Bianca, what do you have in store for us today? Well, um, in light of today, uh, I think um, a few people might have taken some losses today in Power Hour, so I thought that maybe a little meditation or a mindfulness practice about that would be just in order. So, Excellent. Um, yeah, I think that um, uh, just to, to start us off thinking about this, um, you know, people think that generally when, I mean, everybody has different reactions to taking losses. Um, you know, some people get just disappointed some people lose confidence some people get really angry there are all kinds of different reactions people can have to taking losses and um one i think very common strategy is just suppress those emotions and generally, you know, that, that can be very effective for a very sh short period of time for a very, sh in the very short term. But if there is a general, um, if there's a repeated emotion coming up around losses, then constantly exerting willpower to suppress those emotions is not sustainable over the long term. So we have to come up with other strategies to mitigate those emotions and to um, not necessarily suppress them, but figure out how to let them exist within us without letting them control us. So that's something we're going to be working on today. I like it because I've always traditionally, I've always been very good at suppressing my emotions and my wife can vouch for that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think, I think that's, um, that's most people's route because it's a, it's a, you know, it's an easier route than, um, really attempting to be with those emotions and letting them exist within us. So, um, so I think that's, uh, if anyone has any questions before we start, we can, uh, take a look at that. Anyone have any questions? No. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Okay. All right, so we'll we'll get started, and um, as usual, we want to uh, bring ourselves to some kind of a co um, comfortable position, whether that's seated or lying down. Uh, whatever, whatever works for you is good, and um, and we'll get started. I'm going to start us off with some. Relaxing music. Hopefully you guys can hear that. Settling down into the chair or the floor if you're lying down. Fully bringing your awareness to your body, into the present moment, without worrying about the future or the past.
start by breathing slowly in and out through the nose, creating a circular movement with your breath. Don't control the breath, and just let it flow naturally. With each exhalation, settle a little bit deeper into your mind, into your body. Feeling any stress or tension just melt away. If your mind starts to wander at any point during the practice, gently guide it back without judgment, without attaching to the thought that you were having. And gently refocus on the breath. be present with what is happening right now. And become aware of the areas in your body that typically hold stress. For example, the stress you might feel or the tension you might feel after a loss. Typically those areas would be your face, your neck, your shoulders, your upper chest. Take a deep inhale through the nose and let your awareness settle into those areas of your body. Notice any tension around the eyes or your jaw. Sometimes the jaw wants to clench when we're feeling anxious or stressed.
hold your awareness in those parts of your body and gently allow them to release and melt away. When you are, you brought your awareness to those areas. Start to recall the feeling of maybe disappointment or fear or anxiety or stress, whatever that feeling was that you felt after a loss, for example. Recall that feeling. But realize that feeling is just that. It's a feeling and does not control you and you can you can just be its observer yourself see if you can examine that feeling a little bit further is there a color you would attach to it is there a texture you perceive any sensation that this feeling would have caused in your body and just realize that this is not an easy process this process takes patience and kindness with yourself so just Relax into the process.
yourself that you are not your thoughts you are simply the awareness of your thoughts experience of the present moment without judgment. attached to your emotion, to your feeling, wherever that was in your body. See if you can visualize those qualities slowly dissolving and releasing. you're coming to the end of this meditation with total calmness and composure. Realize that this is a process. kindness with yourself and patience. And over 
over time. We'll be able to create space within ourselves for the uncomfortable feelings and thoughts that arise inevitably. within us without letting them control us. the sounds in the room or any other sensations. still with me? Can you guys still hear me? All right. Okay, well, that's, do you guys, anyone have any questions about this? That was really good. I see autumn. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I think visualization is, is um, very powerful. It is. And, and um, I think that's a really, really great tool. Um, you know, the, and, and developing this understanding that uncomfortable feelings are par for the course with trading. There's, I don't, I don't know that even the most experienced traders don't have those feelings from time to time. Um, I just think they have uh, probably developed strategies to deal with them. So for us newbies, you know, we're sort of still in the process of um, figuring that stuff out. And uh, I think coming to the realization that these feelings um, don't just go away, they will always be there. So um, strategies are necessary. It's just like, um, for example, a performance artist, somebody who has to go on stage. You know, I think that most people who do that kind of a thing are on stage on a daily basis mm -hmm. will tell you that they still have stage fright and that it never goes away, but they figure out how to deal with it. And I think it's very similar in trading that those feelings, whatever they may be, um, different for different people will never go away. It's, it's just how you let them affect you and how you deal with them that becomes different over time. So, hey, well, I'm glad you enjoyed that. Is Steve still with us? Yep, I would agree 100%. You know, we, we use the analogy all the time, but, 
you know, it's, it's like a muscle, right? Just because you lift weights and you get strong doesn't mean that lifting heavy weights is ever easy, but it, you know, fell asleep maybe. I don't know. (laughs) That can can happen. Um, anyways, that's, um, that's all I got for you guys today. If you don't, oh, he was, can you hear me? He can hear me. I can't hear him. I don't know why. Hmm. Oh, I don't know what that's about. Okay. Anyway, well, that was great. Okay. I don't know what what happened with the sound, but I I I can see your response there. Okay. All right. All right. Well, take care, everybody. That's all I got for you guys today. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, Bianca. I guess we'll come up with a new with a, with the next date and let everybody know. All right. Take care, everybody. Cheers.